you guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's a lovely evening over here it's a school night as they say and i thought it'd be fun to do a college night routine probably definitely the last college night routine i ever make ever because i graduate soon so i want to you know film all the college videos that i can so it's so crazy i've had a really nice day and now um around this time four or five o'clock i pull out a huzzah probiotic salts i love these they just relax me they soothe me and i'm just chilling in bed actually watching some youtube which i don't always do but yeah i thought it'd be fun to take you guys along my college night routine about to head to spin class that's my go-to workout um i've got my little outfit on i'll show you guys before we leave and then my roommate and i are gonna make some dinner we're doing tacos and show you my skincare i have to do some homework tonight it's just like the perfect night to show you my night routine it's gonna be vlog style obviously but yeah if you enjoy subscribe there's gonna be plenty more videos to come college related and non-college related moving out new york city here i come vlogging that whole move it's gonna be a great time so yeah welcome to a college night routine subscribe if you're new here and let's get started watching my girl audrey here on youtube <gasps> Oh my god, uh, she's using my planner. Hold up, hold up. What a great surprise. Wait, how do I pause? All right, you guys, it's time to get a little workout in. I kind of am liking my hair straight. I don't, I haven't been wearing it straight with my hair extensions, but I don't know, something different. Here's my little work outfit. It's so boring. I, usually I like to wear a fun, colorful set, but this is just what I pulled out today. So my workout top is from Lululemon. I don't know if they still have this style anymore. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now. Um, and then my leggings are the Amazon Lululemon dupe leggings, I think. Let me check the logo. I always have to check. Yep, Amazon. <laughs> and then I've been wearing my Apple Watch when I work out. I really like to track my workouts now. I never thought I'd be that type of person. This is my Apple Watch. I switch out the bands depending on if I'm working out or not. I'm working out, so I'm using this white Apple Watch sports band. I'll link it down below. And then this is, I actually have a rose gold Apple Watch because when I ordered it, it said gold, okay, and it's rose gold, but it's hard. I bought this like bumper thing um, to make it look gold, so I'll link that down below if I can find it as well. The Apple Watch S6, is that a thing? I don't know, I think I have, or, yeah, Series 6, because um, I have a lot of questions about that. If you guys are wondering, these are my nails right now. They're a beautiful yin-yang situation, inspired by Pinterest, if it'll ever load. I'm very balanced, as you can see. <laughs> Get it. I'm headed to a spin class, it's just 45 minutes. And it's like I was saying, it's my preferred method of working out because it's just so much fun. I absolutely love it. These are the spin shoes that I wear. I've had them for like two years now. They are the TMs. I have a couple colors, but I always just wear my white one. They're amazing. So basically you can like walk on them. So I just wear them to class. I notice a lot of people will like wear slides and then change into them. I've never really understood that because I think the point of these are that you can like do your errands in them and then go to spin. I mean, sometimes you can hear the little clips when you're walking but it's not a big deal i just love it because it's super easy and then you don't have to spend you know like the two dollars every time when you're going to spin to rent some shoes i've been back on my workout grind try to do something active every day well monday through friday saturday and sunday i let myself just kind of do whatever <laughs> um like yesterday i didn't go to spin but i went for like a 45 minute power walk just around downtown athens I'm gonna blow out my candle <sighs> It's like a little cold outside and I always like to kind of like get on the bike and have a jacket on or something so I can kind of warm up. Not during the summer, but it's just like a little chilly out today. So I'm just putting on this men's like gray Hanes jacket. I will also link it down below. It was so inexpensive and it just looks so cute. I love the oversized vibe. It's just fun. I always wear it off the shoulder. My boyfriend's like, what is the point of that? Your shoulder's cold? But it's style, okay? <laughs> this is my bag. I will link a similar one down below. I literally got it at PacSun years ago. It doesn't exist anymore, but I found a very similar one that I will link down below. Mask, sunglasses, car keys. Oh, hair tie, I'll put my hair up. When I get there, I always put my hair in like a low ponytail situation because um, hair extensions. Now I'm just gonna go fill up my water bottle. I have this Hydro Flask, 40 ounce, it's the best. Put lots of ice in it. I'm really giving you guys all the details today, aren't I? 
Here's just a little overview of the fit. My mirror is so dirty and I consistently don't do anything about it. I just need to. <laughs> I'm a mess, okay? I'm like about to move out of this apartment in like a month, so I'm just really deteriorating in that regard, so it's okay. I need to know, does anyone else spray perfume on themselves before they work out? Because I do. This is one of my favorite perfumes, Mugler, Fly Away. Wow, it's like almost done. It's a very unique scent, but I love it. I feel like I'm missing something. Whenever I'm vlogging and doing something at the same time, I tend to forget to do things. Hey. What's up, girl? I'm on a college night routine. All right, water is all filled up. Gonna get in the car and play some pump up jams to get hyped for spin. I feel like I'll be really happy I went once, once I go. It's always nice to get a good sweat in. And then Delaney, when I get back, we can cook our tacos. We're doing ground turkey tacos with tomato, lettuce, cheese, tortillas, the whole bit. So, I love nights that we cook too. It's always a vibe. So excited. Um, I think that's all. Oh, this is the candle we're burning right now out here. It smells divine. It's from The Coop NYC. This one's called Room Service. I mean, how luxurious is that? Alrighty, it's time to get our sweat on. I am here. Oh, early. I had the times wrong. Oh my gosh, this class is at 6.30, not 6. I'm here so freaking early. So I decided I'm just gonna drive around. It's beautiful out and like call my mom or dad. <laughs> All right, take two. I drove around. Honestly, it was a big mood booster. I listened to Frank Sinatra. I cannot listen to Frank Sinatra and not get in a good mood. Like, so magical, so happy. And I talked to my dad briefly on the phone, so that was nice. I miss my high ponies, I can't lie. That was a doozy. Honey, I'm home! I literally got so hungry halfway through spin. I was dreaming of these tacos. I also really want kombucha. All right, we're gonna shower later, but for now, I just brushed my hair and ran the Dyson Air up through it. I actually didn't get pretty sweaty. I like swear I sweat, it just doesn't show. We got it. Gingerberry Synergy Kombucha. This just elevates the whole experience if you're a kombucha person. Cheers. <laughs> Tonight we be cooking. How many times have I said we're cooking tacos in this vlog? So many. But it's very imperative. We've got ground turkey. Um, we, we usually do pork, but we were like, why don't we just be a little healthier and go with the ground turkey? And we're gonna use some taco seasoning. It's from Target. It was literally like 50 cents, so it changes the game. You can't have tacos without taco seasoning. So we cook the meat, we add the taco seasoning, gonna cut up tomatoes and shred the lettuce. I have this really awesome tool that is so much fun to cut um, lettuce or onions and stuff in. You cut it up into little chunks and then you pop it in here. And this goes on and you like pull it and it, it's amazing, so. Danielle does the veggies and I do the meat. Yeah, I guess that is kind of what we do. And one time I like had to leave. I like started the broccoli and like was running an errand and came back and she was like, you shouldn't have left me with the veggies. <laughs> Your job. She like overcooked. I mean, they were still good. They were just they super were soft. The mushiest broccoli ever. Mushiest broccoli florets ever. Guys, Katie Bellotti posted about this playlist on Spotify and it's just everything. It's called Rom-Coms and Rainy Nights in Manhattan. Say less! First of all, it's Carrie saying you, me, New York. But it's basically like a jazz playlist, but it just has like even more that I just never thought of. So we're gonna play that. We're big into playing jazz while we cook it. It really is a boost of serotonin, I have to say. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, baby. All right, it's looking mighty fine over here. Meat's just about done, looks well seasoned. Mm, we got some cheddar jack fine cut. 
Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Second taco. It is just that good. Dinner is done. Now time to take a shower. Gotta rinse off the day, the sweat. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a body shower. I'll probably do a little body scrub, some body wash, face wash. I just got a Billy Razor, you guys. The hype is real. This thing is amazing. It glides so well. I feel like my skin is so soft. So Billy Razors are definitely worth the hype. And it comes with this magnetic holder, which is really nice. Nice and clean. Then we're gonna do skincare. <laughs> like I totally have to come and stop this. I just looked at my calendar and I'm signed up for spin also tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Do any of you guys do night workouts and then you have a morning workout the next day and it's like, okay, obviously you shower, but then it's the hair. My pajamas are from Set the Trin. So cute. It's this girl that watches my videos, Trinity. She's adorable and uh, this is so cute. It also comes with a little matching headband. So I think I'm quite literally going to use this day, bud. Okay, I have to stop with the Schitt's Creek reference. <laughs> I washed my face with just Cetaphil uh, face wash in the shower, um, but now we're gonna do some, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're gonna use my Sunday Riley CEO Glow Serum. I love this, it's probably like my fourth bottle now. Um, it looks like I need to repurchase another one soon. It was just so beyond moisturizing and it makes your skin so glowy. I actually just found out that I am sunburnt on my chest. I laid out by the pool today at my apartment and the UV was high, but it was cold out. And then over top, I always call it like I'm setting the serum. I use a moisturizer and so I'm gonna use this Drunk Elephant Pro Teeny Polypeptide Cream. I love this, it's very sanitary because you just squeeze up like that and it gives you the perfect amount that you need. And then I'm just gonna put on some lip balm. I'll pr brush my teeth later, but I'm probably gonna go drink some more kombucha. <laughs> um, I'm using the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Grapefruit. The lighting in my bathroom is horrendous. Like, I hate it so much. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And I'm gonna wash my hands because they're all oily. <laughs> all right, now that the skincare is done, I am showered. Oh, I hate when my closet door is open. <laughs> Arriving at my desk now, it's definitely organized chaos. I can turn the lamp on here. Light a candle. This is from Strike Magazine. This magazine I'm a part of a coffee shop was carrying like coffee sleeves with Strike on it. So I wanted to save it, of course. This candle has lasted for so long, you guys. It's called Noir from Target. And I keep burning it. It just keeps trekking. It's just like a nice, it's like a hotel candle, you know, like a, a candle that they'd be burning in hotels, like a nice kind of vetiver -y scent. You guys know I love vetiver. So it is now 8.32. So around this time of night, I check in with my homework again. I have an assignment due in my retail planning and buying class, um, and it's math. It's math homework. I've been putting it off literally all day, um, so it is inevitable. I have to do it. It's due tonight at 11.59 p.m., so I work well under pressure. <laughs> So we're gonna get going on that now. Um, basically what I do is I go back to the slides from the class and I write down all the formulas. Basically it's if you're planning to be a buyer in the retail industry, this class is perfect for you. It is a lot of math and a lot of calculating. You have to think about the margins, the gross margins, you know, the markup, the markdown price. If you put it on sale, like there, it's really cool honestly and it's probably the most useful math class I've taken thus far in college, so I'm happy to take it. Obviously, it's just not fun, as always. I'm gonna put on the blue light glasses. They look like they need to be a little cleaned. These are from Movement. They just seem to be the ones I draw to the most for whatever reason. I don't know, I just like the thick frames a lot. I've got my math book and one of my tote bags here. Got my trusty notebook and my graphing calculator that I've had since high school. It still has like a etched out um, monogram sticker on it, but I just love this calculator. I like doing math on it. Oh, that was scary. I literally just switch off things that are tripods for my camera. Like now you guys are on ice breakers, ice cubes, winter green gum uh, before you were on my hydro flask, which was definitely not the best idea. But fun fact about me, my handwriting is terrible. It is chicken scratch, it is gross, it is bad. So yeah, I just like to go through the slides, 
look at all the formulas, write them all down so that when I go to the math assignment, I just have everything. And then it's really nice because when it gets to the exams, I have all of the formulas from all the past chapters already written down. So it's like one less thing I have to study and it's just really nice to have it all in front of me. I just, I don't know, that's just kind of how I work. We're doing chapter nine. I'm gonna get to it and my inspiration for finishing this, you guys should always have an inspiration to finish your homework because it just helps you go faster. Um, I saw this TikTok about the movie Endless Love and I've seen it before a long time ago, but the TikTok reminded me how good the movie is. It's like total romance, just like good vibes and I really wanna watch that tonight, but I, I can't watch it unless I get this done. And Delaney said she's down to watch it too. So the goal is to get this done so I can watch the movie. This has been my playlist of choice to listen to when I'm doing homework. All right, you guys, homework is done. So happy about that, but that just means I get to watch Endless Love. I'm so excited. I just need to respond to like two emails. Um, and Brooke and I are kind of starting to plan our episode of Gals on the Go. If you guys don't know, I have a podcast with my best friend, Brooke. It's called Gals on the Go. And I was also just working on linking some things for a video that I'm posting. I always try to link everything that I show, where, do, all those things. So I was just doing a couple of things like that. And then we're going to go back into the living room and we're going to pour some more kombucha and maybe have some chocolate and watch Endless Love. I love it. Our living room is so vibey too. Like, wow. Alrighty. Results are in, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna clean up in here a little. We've got a little leftover lettuce and tomato. Probably just gonna toss it. This is gonna be great for lunch tomorrow. Vibes are immaculate up in here. What you got there? Oh, some white wine white tonight. Wine. Yum. If you guys saw my last vlog, um, Cookies by Macy Lee made me a ton of custom cookies. Like, look at the shakuri board, it's insane. She did some Delaney free jerseys. Carolyn, I just think that's so cute of her and I am just craving something sweet right now. So I'm gonna have this one. Florida to Georgia to New York, baby. Love that. Oh my god. Rent or buy. The vibes are right in here, yay. I just know I'm gonna get in my feels after this movie. I'm gonna like text Ryan and be like, love me. I literally have the chills. This, oh, ah, love. Tears. The movie's so good, but it gets you so in your feels. Like, think it should be a Nicholas Sparks movie, but it's not. You can buy, you can rent it for $3.99 on Amazon. Alrighty. It's quite late now. Oh, I didn't even finish my kombucha. What a crime that is. Good night, Delaney. Good night, Delaney. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Turn all the lights off here. Mmm, it smells so good in here because I kept the candle burning. <laughs> it's 11.37, almost midnight. I've been doing this thing where I leave the blinds all the way up because it's so nice during the day. But then at night, I just close my blackout curtains and it's amazing. It gets pitch black in here, which is really refreshing. Turning on my sound machine. <laughs> yeah, this is not organized, okay? This is real, this is me. It's time to brush the teeth, these. This makes me happy every time I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth, I use the Bruch toothbrush. I love this thing. And then the Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. More lip balm, of course. And actually, ew. Ew, David. <laughs> actually think I'm gonna spray a little tanning water on my face. I do this at night every now and then. Every couple nights I'll do this because, um, I don't know, I feel like my face is always a lot less tan than the rest of my body. I love this stuff. This is the Tan Lux, the water. It's just tanning water, hydrating self tan water i'll link it below um but i actually have only ever used this for my face i've heard great things about using it on the rest of your body 
I probably should put it a little bit on my chest, but I don't really want to deal with that. So I'm gonna um, spray it all over my face and then rub it in. I have this like little mini mitt. Um, and then I wake up in the morning and my face has this awesome glow. So I always do this at night. Not always, but like I said, every couple nights. And I haven't had any issues with like breaking out from this at all, which is a plus. Circles. That movie had a great soundtrack, like all those songs I have on a playlist. It's so good. Okay. We're gonna be a glowing queen in the morning. <laughs> it's all about the night prep, baby. Okay, I have to pee one second. My white noise machine is on. I don't know if you guys can hear that, turning the lights off. <gasps> oh, this is just magical. I love that glow. Obviously, I'll blow this out and turn off that light before I go to bed, but I can't lie. I think I'm gonna get in bed and watch some TikTok. <laughs> I don't have a book I'm reading right now. I, my friend just read The Defining Decade and she has it. And I'm, I keep meaning to stop by her apartment to grab it because I really want to read it. But I don't have it right now, so will not be reading it tonight. I'm gonna spray some of this slip sleep mist. <laughs> it's hard to say. I don't do this every night. I'm definitely doing this for the video, I can't lie. But yeah, I'm gonna hop into bed. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm feeling very relaxed and ready for the day ahead tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Can't believe this is my last college night routine. See y'all soon. Bye.